Good morning, everybody. MG here. MG Covers bringing you a brand new sports handicapping video. Title of this video is Line Movement and how it relates to NHL handicapping. Super excited about this video. Before we do that, as always, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel. A lot of content related to sports handicapping. I have a lot of playlists on how to handicap uh, NBA, college basketball, NHL, which is currently going on right now. If you want to follow me on social, MG Covers, cover spell with a Z. That's on Instagram and Twitter. Give out a ton of free information on Instagram so you get a lot of value simply by following me on Instagram. All right, so let's dive into this video. Apologize for my voice. I've been under the weather sick. So first thing I'm going to cover is any sport that you start to handicap, you first have to know and understand the statistical properties of that sport. <clears throat> this is NHL year-to-date. You can see here home teams in NHL win 55% of the time, which is about right. Favorites win 64% of the time. So just based on that, if we have a home team that's a favorite and we have line movement in our favor, that is a pretty good uh, play because we have three you know, aspects of NHL handicapping working in our favor. All right, and that's not to say – we just play home teams because you can get a ton of value um, away teams as well because a lot of times the books will shade. The books know this information here. So more times than not, they might, the line will be shaded to that home team. So sometimes the value is on the other side. And what I mean by shaded, if you're new, that means they basically inflate that side. All right. So let's dive into it. Let's take a look at yesterday's NHL examples. Um, this is Ottawa. Let's take a look at this Ottawa-Pittsburgh matchup here. And what you want to do when you're looking at line movement, line movement in on a money line is significantly different than money line in, say, college football when you're talking about a, a, a number spread. What I mean by that is in NFL, as you know, let's say a line is minus three. And the late line, let's say that line moves to minus three and a half. Even though that's only a half point, that is a significant line move favoring the favorite in that situation. Well, when you're dealing with money line, you're going to have in every money line, you're going to have some variance. Um, so in order to basically look at a game and say, hey, that is significant line movement in a money line, it needs to be probably at least about 15 cents if not more than that. And so with that, let's look at this example here. So this is uh, Pittsburgh, Ottawa. And when we're looking at line, I always like to look at the line the day of the game. So uh, minus 282, Pittsburgh, this line moves significantly in favor of Pittsburgh. All the way up, ends up closing at minus 340. So that was a, let's see, 20, that was a 60 cent line move in favor of Pittsburgh. So again, Going back to what we already know, favorites win 55% of the time. I'm sorry, home teams win 55% of the time. Favorites win 64% of the time. In this particular example, we have line movement in our favor, and Pittsburgh did win that one 6-4. And again, being realistic, we would not um, lay minus 340, right? So this would be a play that we would consider on the money line. I'm, I'm sorry, on the puck line. So this particular example, we would have to lay minus 137. Pittsburgh does cover the puck line, winning that one 6-4. to four. It's a really good example there. All right, let's take a look at Columbus, Philadelphia. <clears throat> um, Philadelphia line opens the day of minus 122, ends up closing at minus 128. So that's not, again... So we look at this from 122 to 128. That does move six cents, but again, not significant to say that line movement would favor Philadelphia. And you can see it actually bounces around a lot. So you probably had you know some sharp action on both sides. Uh, 122 um, goes down to 116, back up to 124, down to 117, back up to 128. So it wasn't consistently moving in one direction like you saw in that previous example. So as far as line movement, this would be neutral. And of course, for the sake of this example in this video, that would be a no play. All right, Dallas Buffalo. Okay, this line 157 favor Buffalo moves hard against Buffalo. 
um, all the way to plus 187. So this line movement, of course, favors Dallas. You look on the Dallas side, 177 all the way up to 211. So that's um, what, you know, a 30 cent line move somewhere in, it, in that uh, neighborhood. Uh, Dallas did win. Now, would you play a away team on a puck line? Possibly you could. Let's see what the um, – Let's see what the um, line would have been here. Probably getting plus money on that one. Yep. So you'd gotten uh, plus 126. And, of course, they won but did not cover on the puck line. All right. Washington and Boston. Let's take a look at this one. Boston opens up. There's another good example. Minus 150. And you can see immediately it starts to go... Um, early that morning, 173 ends up closing all the way at 189. And Boston did, in fact, uh, win that one. Uh, same deal here. Um, you know, if you'd have played it on the puck line, that would have been a loss. Uh, it would have won on the uh, money line. Let's see here. Yep, it had gotten plus 138. And my general rule is the way to think about this, um, you know, when do you play puck line, when do you play uh, money line. Well, you can see here, uh, favorites win about 64% of the time. So what I do is I just round it out to 60, meaning like if you convert 60% into a money line, so you never want to pay more than about minus 150, 155 or so um, in NHL on the money line. We actually played Florida last night. I'll get to that. I think we played uh, minus 160, so a little bit higher than normal. Um, but again, when you get in this range here, it might not be worth it getting up to 189 so it's either um a puck line play or a pass but as far as understanding line movement line movement moved in favor of boston and boston won all right winnipeg nashville let's take a look here um, another really good example line opens 134 nashville day of ends up closing at 150 so that's right at the 15 cent line move and nashville wins that one nice uh win there for Nashville. And one thing too, while we're here, when you talk about public and non-public teams, this is not applicable in um, NHL handicapping. Just what I've seen over the years, meaning like um, for my teaching, we avoid public teams, not really relevant like it is in say NFL or college uh, football. So don't really pay attention to public, non-public teams, um, but more so the line movement. All right. Florida Edmonton, and this is the one that we actually played. Florida opens up at minus 154, and you can see ends up closing at 163. So not significant line movement there. Um, but still, you know, based on my, um, we had um, Edmonton at plus 150 via my line. So that was a reason why we had played it. So again, 160 sort of goes over that minus 163, a little bit more juice than you'd want to play, but um, did have a little bit of line movement in your favor there. But definitely would not be a play um, for Ed Edmonton there. 136, 146 line moving against them there. All right, Colorado, Los Angeles. I think this is another really good example of a line. You can see here day of opens at minus 185. And look what happens to the line. It goes up. Gets to 191, goes all the way down to 174. And you can see as it gets, uh, what's that, about an hour and a half, a couple hours before game time, goes from 174 all the way up to 191. Um, so you could have obviously played it, you know, maybe somewhere in here or considering that was significant line movement um, to close there. Play it on the puck line, and let's see what that line was. Yep, you'd have got plus money there. Uh, Colorado minus 131. But you can see the significance of line movement already, um, how accurate it is, especially when it's a significant amount of line movement. Uh, Montreal and Vegas here. All right, line opens at Vegas minus 361, moves all the way down to 307. <coughs> so that definitely favors Montreal. Montreal came back here, uh, made it close, 
um, and uh, didn't win. Now, people ask about the money line um, plan and underdog. So let's take a look at what that would have been. And what I mean by that is, so if you didn't want to play Montreal plus 264, let's take a look and see what it would have been on the spread line. Yep. And you can see there you were getting plus money at plus one and a half. So you could have played Montreal plus one and a half at plus 118, which probably would have been a really good play. And I would say that would have been a better play than the um, playing them on the money line to win outright. Because using our statistical properties, we know that the away teams only win about 44% of the time. Dogs only win about 35% of the time. So that uh, puck line play Montreal actually did win. And then finally, let's look at the last one. San Jose, Seattle. You can see here line is, this is a good example of neutral line movement. Minus 108. It goes up to 113. Back down to 105, up to 113. So this is, you know, 109. Ends up closing at 111. So very neutral line movement there. Um, so no advantage line movement. Uh, Seattle did win that one 3-2. to two. So when you're looking at... Um, a way to improve your NHL handicapping. You know, if you're seeing a significant line move from the day of, you know, 15 cents or greater, and it's a favorite, and they're the home team, that's a very, very solid play, even without a model. Um, you could actually have access to my model um, for NHL, uh, $49.95 per month. That gives you access to all my coaching videos. Videos similar to this, I go in a lot more detail. We have probably... Last year, 50-something uh, coaching videos, you get access to that. If you want access to that, in addition to all my plays for all sports, that's $99 per month. You can join for the year. It's one thing I've really started to um, get people to understand this is an investment, the best way to yield a profit, invest long-term. Uh, instead of paying $100 a month, that'd be $1,200 a year. You get 60% off, $4.99 for the entire year. That gives you access to all my lines for all sports for an entire year, all my plays for all sports for an entire year, as well as all, as well as all the coaching videos. Anyway, I hope this video helped, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Like uh, to join. Uh, there is a link in the description in this profile. Peace.